Good morning, everybody. It's me and my buddy Sparta. He's going to be 13 this month. I've had him since before he was even born. <laughs> I am in our backyard, our garden. Let me turn the phone around. This is the backyard garden my daughter and I have been working on. My daughter worked on it while I've been gone the last couple months and put up some of my T posts and some of her welded wire fencing to hold the raspberry, blackberry bushes, plants that we have growing. We also have some blueberry plants and some others, like this one's having to start over. That one looks like it might be doing okay. And this big tree here used to be as tall as our house. We cut that down ourselves. We did not hire a tree service to come cut that down. We also cut down a second tree. Anyway, this is uh, more of our blackberry and raspberry and golden berries. that she's put through on here. You see some little starts coming up. And over here, all of these are wild cherry bushes. And they lean over that way because when the wind blows in the backyard, it blows that direction. This here is our potato bed. This is what potato plants look like when they start. And in there you can see some onion. My granddaughter pulled out of my bedroom kitchen area and she put them out here so that she could grow some onions. But all the rest of this are potatoes. Not all of them came up. As you see, this half is completely empty. And this here is the other tree that we had growing in the backyard that we cut down. It was not quite as tall. It's been cut down now for two years. I think we did it in 2020. Yep, two years. And we have all of our fruit trees. Some of the fruit trees we bought were like $150 a piece. I didn't buy them. My daughter Bethany bought them. They were Supposed, supposed to be uh, the trees that are grafted that have six different types of fruits growing on them. What are those ones called, Bethany? What? The fruit trees where you had all the different fruits growing on them. Grafted? No, what's the, the, what's the name? Starts with a C. A fruit cocktail. They're fruit cocktails because they have so many different types of fruit. And we also have, I'm going to put my cat down real quick. There you go, bud. Sparta. Hi, baby. He thinks our garden is his potty box. We have to keep him out of our garden. This tree she cut down a lot. That tree was full, well not full grown, but it was taller than even that tree there. But she cut it down to make it start over because it wasn't doing so good. <clears throat> Some more wild blackberry or raspberry, more here. A fig tree here, a fig tree here. Are these turkey figs? Are these turkey figs? Chicago hardy. Chicago hardy. Oh, okay. She knows what they are. I don't. This is pers persimmons, right? Both of them? This one too? Where's the, the other one? Apple. Oh, the honey crisp apple. Persimmon. My persimmons are mostly over there. Oh, they're over at the other now. end. This here is our elderberry. All these long rows that you see between where all the trees are planted where you see dirt, that's where we had the yard fabric, that black fabric. 
in all of these rows with we had five of them that one these three and another one down the middle there um, that's where we had planted all the cantaloupe and watermelon and over on this side of the house she had planted other trees some of what she's pulled up she's trying to see if that one's gonna grow but it doesn't look like it the tulips were already planted here as were the daffodils when we moved here this is the first time that i've seen one of them bloom i don't know if it has a fragrance let me check no i don't smell anything she said this one here that had bloomed which you can tell that it did this little star thing here um that was a red one she said And I did have some plants over here, but she says they're not coming up. These are my dinner plate hibiscus, actually. The strawberry plants are starting to come up in there. This is a flower bed she and I worked on earlier this year. And we have to put a backing here to hold the soil in. Finish filling these in. All of these are the um, the black covers that were in the backyard where we had our cantaloupe and watermelon. And then we also made this one and this big long one here along the side of the house. So we have a lot of our plants, some logs from the trees that we cut down, some fire from the fire pit old soil and she is going to finish filling these up with the soil and mulch that she has she has soil and then this mulch here and those are going to be um, filling these up so she can plant flowers here anyway this is Roberta from Roberta's Artistic Adventures and the changes taking place at our property. I gotta pick up that trash. Alrighty. And this is my granddaughter's rose. She said the blooms are gonna be a pretty uh, orangey coral color. And it looks like there's a couple of blooms trying to get ready to start coming out. This is Roberta from Roberta's Artistic Adventures. I hope you enjoy the update on our garden adventures here.